uh, Ashanti trying to say that this park is like a Carolina Pines, but I told I told her this park is not a Carolina Pines. Carolina Pines have so much to offer. This, this does too. So, so you were saying that this is going to be Margaritaville? Yes, we're going to be called Camp Margaritaville. Grand opening is going to be January 15th, 2022. And right now you're called the Cabana Club. Cabana Club RV Resort. And how long have you been open? February 1st, 2021. Oh, you just opened last yes, year? We opened about uh, 10 months ago. 10 months ago, yep. okay. So this is the new Margaritaville. The nightlife, the nightlife here. We're We done found another glamping spot and it's in Florida. Look at this spot. Look at this site. Look at that beautiful sunset. That's that Florida lifestyle camping for you. We're about to go check out the store, see what they offer. It is a beautiful day here at the, well, I wanted to call it the Cabana Club, but it it's actually Margaritaville. is Margaritaville. I gotta re keep reminding yeah. myself it's Margaritaville. And it looks just like in Margaritaville. Well, it looks like some of the other Margaritavilles that they have built, but I would have to Which say- Which one? Um, the one that we left when we were in Tennessee, the Pigeon Forge one. Uh -huh. But this one, I think is gonna be way bigger than the both of those two, which was the Lanier one that's in Georgia. Lake, Lake, Lake Lanier. Lanier. And um, the Pigeon Forge one that they just opened up last, what, last year around yeah. this time. It's beautiful though. So guy, like she said, they are still building I'm gonna insert some drone footage here where you can actually see um, that they're still under construction here. Yeah, but they bought wisely. This is a great property to add to their portfolio. Don't have an RV, like we said. We're gonna do our best to start showing you some cottages, cabins, when they have them on site and they have one right here. So, we're able to check it on out. Let's see what? Nice. Nice. So you can rent this here while you're staying at Margaritaville. Wow. So, bunk beds. Nice size bathroom. Just like a hotel, offer you additional pillows, bed. Looks like this is where they're doing additional building of some sort back there. But I would stay here. I would too. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Nice, Very nice. roomy bathroom. Couple of fans, air conditioned. Then you have. This back patio where you can cook, barbecue. Oh yeah, this is nice. Park your car. You know what they're missing? 
they are missing a fire pit. Yeah. Or a fire ring. Whatever, they are. Whatever they call it in the south. Fire pit, fire ring. Yep. Let me throw this water. Woo, it's cold, it's cold. It's still in the 70s, but that water's cold, but there's kids over there swimming. <laughs> the kids is over there swimming though. Well, we're gonna have but to it's give cold. It a whirl. But we're gonna have to try it out. I still I would still get in it. Yeah. I wanna get on that slide. Okay guys. I like this theme they got going on. They got the plants going. They got something like the lights hanging from the RV. This is the other side of the park. They are steady building. Look at this. All right, guys, they call this the lake view. You got the tiki hut. You got the egg back there, the kumo egg. Look at this. You got the sink. You got the refrigerator. Oh, you got a TV. <laughs> Fan up top. So, I believe they wanted 130 for this. But as you can see, no one is on this. You got one individual that's staying on the Lakeview sites. 130, 140, somewhere around there. We chose to get the um, pull through. So you got the Lakeview sites, you got the pull throughs, and you got the back ends. All these sites are nice. All of them. And it looks like they're making more Lakeview sites as well over there. We're trying to figure out which one to get the Ruby Red or the Pomelo. I was told that some people on medication can't take the ruby red but they could definitely enjoy a pomelo and the way you can tell a, a ripe pomelo is by the what oh uh, the weight when it's uh, heavy and if it's lighter it doesn't have as much juice in there okay okay cool apple yes and those are the boss pears yes. and the bartlets are just plain that's your traditional bartlet traditional pear, so these are sweeter the um, boss it just depends they're a lot different these are more soft pear okay and then those there are more of a crunchier crunchier uh, type apple situation okay cool so you guys i bought a whole of that for 23 bucks so whenever you're in this area and you're camping at the new margaritaville that we're gonna be at or that we're camping at come check them out nice people always here and they give you one heck of a deal on the prices right there check them out it is next to the gas station on denton avenue and again it's right by the campground i promise you you will enjoy everything they have Guys, I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out and also send out a big thank you to Vic Off Road. Hey, they must have been watching our video. And the reason why I say this, if you guys remember, 
Uh, we went, um, we've been having a problem with our refrigerator killing our battery. We've been, uh, so I started looking to, I started looking into um, solar to where uh, whenever we go somewhere, we still have a way to power our battery. All right, because from my understanding, what everybody in the comment section told me, that that truck, when we're traveling, my truck only trickle charged the battery. So every time we get to a campground, the battery is already dead. So Vic Off-Road reached out to me, as well as everybody else that in our comment section said, hey, get a DC to DC charger. All right, I didn't know what that was until now. All right, Vic Off-Road sent us a DC to DC charger. All right, and from what this charger do is it, it connects to my truck and it, it works off my alternator. It charges my truck up as well as my battery. All right, so I'm sitting here because this charger came in the mail the other day. So I'm sitting here reading up on it and I can say I am impressed just by everything that this do. This charger is ideal for um, four wheel drive, caravan, RVs, truck, camper, trailers, caravans, commercial vehicles, and boats. And we got both, we got an RV and a boat. So this will charge the battery on my boat as well as my RV. It's an Atom Power DC to DC dual charger. All right, this charger, it can be charged by battery and also can be charged by solar power. So we have a couple solar panels inside. You wanna help me, my lovely assistant? No, I just need you to take this out the box for me, because right? I want everybody to see this charger. Okay. It's a little DC. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So let me show you this charger. All right. I'm just unpacking it. It's a little DC DC charger. It got the LED lights on here. So it also comes with all the wiring. It's all it's all color coded. So with the wiring is color coded. So from my understanding, I'm gonna hook this up to my truck, and this actually is what's gonna help power my battery. Guys, if you're looking for a DC to DC charger, check out the link. Check out my link. Their link will check out my description box. Guys, if you're looking for a DC to DC charger, check out my description box. This atom power. DC to DC charger will be in my uh, description box. If you having problems like us, that I, I think versus going with solar, a lot of solar on your roof, this here will fit the bill. Thanks again, Vic Off Road. We will be putting this to the test. We will be using this come this summer. As soon as I get back to Ohio, I am going to have this installed on my truck. No more dead batteries. I got bell peppers on here. I got mushrooms on here. I got tomatoes on here. It's on the grill. So guys, I'm gonna check out my steak. I already added my steak into the gravy that I made already with my vegetables. So I submerged everything. Look at this steak. Most people put their steak right on the grill, but I like my steaks moist. So I'm checking. Look at this. Ooh, Ooh hoo, 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 hoo. that's gonna be good. You're gonna like that over there, aren't you? Look at she hating. So I gotta show that I'm the better cook. Shanti, she like to get beside herself. So when she get beside herself, I gotta humble her. So. Men, they always say men's are better cooks anyway. But anyway, you look at that. I got my onions on the steak. Look at that buttery. Huh? You got onions on the steak? Yes, ma'am. I'm representing for all you men that can cook. Sometimes I like to, I like for my woman to cook because she she's a woman and she like to cook. So what I do, I downplay my role, but I don't have to do it all the time. I don't have to do it all the time. I can come out here and cook. 
I can come out here and season up a steak, butter up a steak. Look at that. Sometimes I got to do what I got to do. Sometimes I got to do what I got to do. If you guys believe he cooked any part of this meal. <laughs> they see me cook this got, whole meal already. I have a bridge to share, to share with you. And I'm going to sell plots of it. And it's called the bridge to nowhere. If you guys thought he did any parts of that. But good job, babe. Good job for pretending. I didn't already admit it that Shanti is a food preparer. Prepare? Uh, yeah, you prepare the food. That's I'm the I chef. Am. Yeah, if we was in the kitchen, you'd be the food. I don't know what they call it in the kitchen. It's called the sous chef. Sous chef? Yeah. Okay, you'll be the sous chef. And guess who will be the chef? <laughs> Casper. I don't know. It would be me. It would be you would forget it would be me. that you even have food on the grill. Just because she prepared <laughs> the food, it's the it's up to the person that put that food over the fire and cooked that food. Alright? I cooked the food. How long has the food been cooking? I say about 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes? Yes. Can you flip that over real quick for me? Okay. Thank you, Sue Chef. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Guys, a lot of time I like to see the grill marks on my steak, but that's not the case this time. Because yeah, because we had it in here. No, the charcoal is burning off too. Oh, okay. That's the reason why? Yeah. I could have sworn it was because it was in cast iron skillet, but okay. It's okay. Yeah. You'll get it one day. Anyway, look at that. What you tasting my steak for? Why you gotta taste my steak? Because I cook and I season your steak. Sous chef have three seats. <laughs> So what are your bikes called? Eccentric. We Eccentric got these from cycle. Eccentric Cycle in Orlando. Uh huh. And they go about 25 miles an hour for about 24 or 25 miles. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And do they fold? Yes, yes they do. Yeah. They fold? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Do you want to show? And, and sure. where do you carry them at? In we the put back in our of the truck. truck. Okay. So we have one of the fifth wheels that you put the the hitch into the middle of the bed. Look at that. And so it falls right in the middle. You just put some towels down and it's good. And does yours wow. fold? Ours fold too. Yep. Real easy. Cool. Yeah, so that folds. This park is not a Carolina Pines. Carolina Pines have so much to offer. This does this, too. It, it does. It does. I, it has I do. an arcade. It has a, a full blown bar, tiki bar, right there in the middle of everything. They have all kind of amenities, pool. Um, they got a, 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 a slide, a big slide for you. I mean, you guys, okay. you have to check this I, park I out. I would put this park as far as our second best park. I can say that. Okay, I, I would label up under, I would put Carolina Pines at an A, I would put this park at a B. All right. What? Yeah, it's a B. It's, it's a, a B. A minus. No, it's a B. It's an A minus. People no, got A minus. I'm doing tears. I'm doing tears. Yeah, this this would be an A minus if you're gonna. There's. I think this is just as good as Carolina Pines. Yeah, it's it, just it, as good. It, it's but... in Florida. You can enjoy this. That's it. You can enjoy. Da, I got you. You know that. You know can it, yeah. enjoy this all year long, okay. as well the water, but you can't do that at Carolina yes, Pines. Yes, you can. You cannot. You can. No, you oh, can't. Okay, open the gate. You guys, help us out. Florida, South Carolina weather. I love Carolina Pines, but you can enjoy this all year long. Period. I got you. 
This is much farther than the Carolina Pines for us too. Carolina Pines is much closer. This is the pool area. All in one. Okay, I think it has two pools as well. Oh wow. So they have a cage machine, TV. sites nice. put in the, in the back on the south side of the property and we're going to have buddy sites nice and so rod what is your position here they call me the mayor the mayor <laughs> okay yes, sir. we live here my wife nina and i okay so we live here in the park yeah and um we do a lot of pr and uh nice. just okay. social media stuff like that so a lot of people are going to want to know can you stay here full time no okay mm -hmm. Six months at a time is the max. Okay. That you can okay. Here. So that's the so 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 you can get like a seasonal site like for yes. six months. Really? Yeah. Okay. We have a couple, uh, probably right now just three or four Canadians that are here. Okay. For six months, but uh, there's a lot of you know folks that live out west that come here or up north come down stay for four to six months. Do you got pricing already or um, or just something you got to go over? Yeah. When you, when you call in to okay. the front office, they can give you a site. Uh, well, pricing on the sites. We have a couple of people, a large audience that would be looking for something like that. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know if y'all drove around and took different pictures of yes, the sites. The site that y'all probably just filmed here with the kitchen mm -hmm. and the grill and stuff like that. So, we are going to be putting in approximately 16 more of these sites really? throughout the nice. interior part of the campground that is going to be nice so the only thing missing will be the lakefront mm -hmm. but you'll have all these amenities on a site like right over here now and then when you come back hey that you can you know blend your videos this is before and then after okay so what it what is it going to be so this is our north end of the property uh-huh right off the lake and the lake has cable parks where you can uh, be pulled around the lake okay on a on electric cable so you don't have to have boats in the water but we are going to have kayaks available for our guests that's nice to hop in and go around the lake it's a freshwater lake okay and it's very clear any fish in this lake oh yes oh really there was uh, one of our guests with a little beetle spin pulled out an eight and a half pounder right oh. by this fence. oh wow so people can actually fish here too absolutely and we have our own private little beach oh okay i see the white sand yes and you can see the water how how deep yes. it gets pretty quick and it's clear wow so nice. right now we're going to be connecting the boardwalk which okay. is obviously out over the water mm -hmm. so we'll be connecting the boardwalk to the area to the beach and then behind you is going to be our tiki bar 
A tiki bar on the beach. Yes, a tiki oh, bar on the beach. So that is a good idea. Yes, so you can order your little toddy and walk out uh -huh. onto the dock and sit. And we're going to have sail panels over for shade. And then if you want to follow me over here. So guys, you heard it here first. Yes, this is some... Uh, this is the inside. A lot of people haven't seen this yet. Yes. So over here, this is unofficially called the adult pool there's okay. not going to be any you know no toys kids. or anything like that uh -huh. in the pool area but this is going to be our new pool Look at and that. there's uh three or four different sections that you can sit on there's going to be jets in the pool and that okay. kind of thing okay but they've just blown this in in the past week okay and within a, another month this thing will be totally built so we're going to be invited back when this absolutely we would love to you come back when this done okay this will all be done and it'll be heated just like our other pool. Okay. So you'll have that. And then right behind the pool, you have the uh, premium sites with the Kamado Joe grills that are already on the, on the site for you. This is the site to be at right here. Oh yeah. Beautiful you get to see the, view. yeah, lake view. You get to see the party in. You get to see everything. Now here's, here's one big question that we get. Okay. So we're Cabana Club right now owned by a local family mm -hmm. and people hear that we're going to be changing to margaritaville which is an awesome thing and the big news is the family still owns 100 percent of this property it's awesome people are asking oh it's going to turn corporate you're going to lose the family feel not at all good so the family still owns 100 percent of the property merged in with margaritaville sharing the name that kind of thing mm -hmm. and uh so the rates are not going to go skyrocket either. That's the other question. Your rates are going to go up. They're about where they're going to be. So all good. the employees that are here, all the you know the teammates and everything are still going to be the same. We're just going to be able to hire more. So awesome. that's a positive thing. Awesome. So guys, all good things must come to an end. We had so much fun here at the Cabana Club, which is soon to become Margaritaville officially january 15th of 2022 did you tell them everything that you can do here no there are so many amenities here you have a baby splash you have a, a slide a huge slide you got an adult pool you have a, a retreat you have a business center uh that is beyond spectacular and clean bath houses are immaculate they also have um, a DJ on the weekends. They have a full-blown tiki bar that I'm pretty sure is gonna have a lot of margaritas. And guys, just for announcements, the Adventure Bandit first annual glamp out is coming up. Tickets are selling fast. So if you haven't got your ticket, you may want to be able, you may want to call, um, call the first number that's on, that's in the description box. Come February, you can book through the park. You don't want to miss this event. We're going to have free prizes. We're going to have giveaways. We're going to have raffles. We're going to have karaoke. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to have everything that you can think of. And you guys, make sure you watch the video 100% because this is not the only, the things that I said was not the only amenities that they have here. Watch the entire video. You're going to love this campground. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Also, don't forget to smash that red button and don't forget to ring that bell and guys on that note bandits out